It's that time again. I'm not going to try and say it. If you want to know what I say rubbish, check out the end of the video. What's in here? iPhone spares. Basis branded. iPhone success batteries. Two of those. I'm guessing these are toolkits. Usually you just get accessories with the batteries when you buy them. But these are always quite nice ones. So I've actually got, got some screwdrivers like these already up on my bench here. I use these ones. Exactly the same as you can see. And they're actually nice little drivers. So it's quite nice to have another replacement set. This budget is also quite handy to have too. This is nice good quality. And the uh, sticky pads to put the battery in as well. So I to start doing some iPhone repair stuff and see if I can throw together some phones from a bunch of broken ones, see if we're luck lucky we get with it. But to do that, I need some parts. So batteries are the first thing, because you often need batteries. Now I've actually spied, I've got a phone sitting right here. This one I've got to fix yet, I've got to take the board out. This is our previous repairs done on this one. And uh, U3200 is missing, which is it's up behind here, the shield up here. It's uh, the little regulator I see for the camera. But someone's taken that regulator out, because it's blown or something, and jumped the supply over to another rail to get the camera working. But it's got a battery drain problem, so it actually drains the battery quite quickly, it pulls a lot of current out. So um, I need to actually pull this board out and actually try and trace where that's going. Hopefully it's repairable, because otherwise it works, because it's un iCloud unlocked and everything. So if I fix that problem, it'd be good. We'll get into that one day. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Who knows, you might see something you like and we'll even check out my video history as well. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos, about 750 or so at the time I'm recording this one. Mailbag and repairs and all sorts of stuff. So these are some little press switches. I've been buying a few different ones recently with the intention of using them to repair some rack old Dana. Well, a rack old Dana frequency counter, which I've got sitting here. In fact, I'll show you it. It's right here. No, it's not. Where will I put it? I've moved it. Okay, it's here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Anyway. <laughs> here it is. All these buttons are knackered. All need replacing. Common problem with these units and in its similar units, you know, the 1991s and stuff like that. All very similar. The buttons will fail. I did actually originally have a good source of the buttons, but that has since disappeared. So I've been trying to find some other buttons that I can use. I don't know if these will do the job, but I've got some other ones coming, which I think actually might be exactly the right ones. Again, different ones. We'll see what works. Just little momentary buttons, that's all. There's a two pin. In this case, these may or may not work. I don't know. Check out the links below in the description. Click on the show more link and you'll see all the links to various items I've got here. If I can give you a link to it, then there will be one. I've also got links to my other videos and stuff down there too and Patreon support and that sort of stuff. If you want to support me by Patreon, by helping me buy things from Mailbag or bits of test equipment to fix, if a bit helps. Wow, that's an awful lot of packaging for a phone. Okay, so this is the phone I've purchased, which is 40. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. No idea. Does it even turn on? Dead. As expected, so I don't know what the story is with this one. It could be completely dead, it could be parts phone. I, I don't remember at all. I'd have to look it up. But yeah, it's going with the whole thing of trying to get some iPhones to fix. So I was plugged into my power supply over here with my little USB meter here, and it's not doing much at all. It did cycle a little bit, about 300 milliamps down to about 70 milliamps. On here, cycling backwards and forwards, nothing on the screen I can see. I think it's probably completely dead. I might chuck it on charge for a little bit, just leave it sitting here and see if it comes right, see if anything happens. But it could be a liquid damage phone, I really don't remember. It's got a few layers in there, it's made it hard to get into. There's a mission. 12 volt. Yeah, okay. Okay, these are some. something. Does it sound the outside? They are exactly. No. On a spool, so there's nothing more than 12 volts. That's helpful. I think a W5050 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what they are. But these are addressable LEDs. And this came about when I did my 3D printing video not long ago for the new. Uh, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 2.0. Um, someone commented on that saying about getting the NeoPixels working on it, and apparently it can be a bit of a problem. I haven't tried NeoPixels, I haven't actually played around with them at all. So I bought some. It's actually fairly cheap to get a roll of these things, not expensive, especially from overseas. 
So these have a power supply which run the actual EDs, so in this case it says 12 volts, so it needs a 12 volt power supply. That could be interesting in itself. You then have data lines going to it as well, but there's five wires on here, I'm not quite sure exactly what the story is. These are piggybacked. These are piggybacked wires. So I think these are the joined strings together, and these ones are supplies, because there's only three connections in here. 12 volts, ground, which is white in this case, and green, which is DN, so data in. So this is obviously where you connect the microcontroller to it, this side of it, to inject the uh, control codes to control each NVD. Because they're individually addressable, you can control each NVD in turn. So you can do all kinds of patterns and stuff. Then it's obviously a serial chain, so you can just connect another one up here. And obviously have a, another injection point at the other end of the string for more voltage, because obviously you're going to get a big voltage drop across the string, and you'll get different brightness levels and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll play with those. Hook that up to my Enter 3 at some point, once I've had to play with it, see if it actually works. Also came with a plug as well for it on this end. That was inside the bag still for easy connections. Helpful. Still no life on this phone. It would have come on by now if it was just a flat battery. So that's something else to go on with that one. That's fine. Here are some more switches similar to the first ones I showed you. I think they basically are the same except in white. These are slightly taller. Different size um, post on them. So there's the first lot I've got and these are the other ones. And if I can get two side by side I can try and do that. The post on one is slightly longer than the other one. I don't know, a millimetre or so, a bit hard to see. Not much in it. I don't know, let's try different ones. Something will work. Make sure we stick around, still got a big box to do yet. It's a review item, I think. Ah. It's a miniature ratchet with a screwdriver thing on this end. Screwdriver thing. I don't know. Doesn't seem to lock in. Not like that piece, now I knocked the collar. Not sure how that's supposed to work. Maybe it's just a spinning collar for some reason. Anyway, so yeah, a little mini ratchet. Lever there, change direction. Feels nice enough. As far as the gearing goes, that's not bad. That's pretty fine gearing on that ratchet, it's not bad. A little press, press button here to release it. It's got a little, um, little bearing on the side just here. You, which will collapse in when you push it so it locks the socket on so it doesn't fall off I'm not sure what size that is is it a quarter inch? something like that is it? I don't know, don't but anyway because I've got some little bits I can use but sometimes you just need a little ratchet to go with them because sometimes you need little tools like that and I didn't have one, a bit of a pain I was doing something not long ago and I needed a little ratchet I didn't have one so now I've got one so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed I mentioned that at the beginning but I thought I'd say it again here are some USB ports. I purchased a bunch of USB ports recently. Not only these, I also bought some bigger ones because someone at work wanted me to fix something for them. But I didn't have the right ports for it. And they still haven't arrived. That was about a month ago and they still haven't turned up yet. But whilst I was looking, I thought, oh, I'll get some more little micro USBs because you always need those kinds of things. From time to time, you get something which you need to fix and it's got a micro USB port on it. And naturally, you don't have the one you need. So I've got a, a bunch here, which are all different ones. I've got no idea what's what. I think it's about five of each or something like that. Obviously, they're all mixed in, which is really convenient. <laughs> Imagine trying to sort these out. But yeah, now I've got a selection at least, so I've got something to go through if I do get something which needs one of these ports replaced. At least then I've got some more. I do actually have some already, but um, these were a different selection, so naturally there's going to be some different ones in here which I don't already have. And now the box. Let's see what's in here. So on its side. Unity. Looking like it's been squashed a little bit. What do you reckon is in here? A ding on that corner as well. Doesn't that just say anywhere on the box what's in it? So this is a item for review from Bangers. I don't think much Banger for sending something I cost. I requested this item because I want to have a look at it and just check it out. We have some scope probes. Two sets there. These are which ones? I don't know if I can read what they are. This one of these. I think it was 100 megahertz. Can I see which one it is? Come on. It's not on there. <laughs> I guess I have to guess. But it's probably 100 megahertz probes. And obviously you've got the toolkits and stuff that comes with them as usual. Good old death adapter. Even though it has come with the right plug. Well, almost the right plug. And we've got a USB cable. USB A to A. Interestingly. Male to male. That's 
odd you don't normally see cables like that. Hmm. Very unusual. I haven't seen one of those. And why I was saying this is almost the right plug is because yes it's the right kind of format, but the New Zealand standard these days, the new current standard is to have sheathed pins. So as you unplug it you can't actually accidentally touch the pin with your fingers. Because your fingers, you know, you can wrap it around and still be making contact. And then you get a zap. So the current standard is to have a plastic sheath up the pin so you can't do that. Chinese plugs don't have that. And well, because China uses the same plug format. But also that's a Chinese plug. But you always get a diff adapter. Because sometimes you need to plug in your existing crit plug into the diff adapter for the existing crit plug. Does that actually work? I wonder if that works. You can. <laughs> hmm. I'm not quite sure why you'd need to do that, but uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm not going to unpack it right now, I'm going to do a proper review on it, I'm just going to do a quick look at it right now. I'm not going to power it up or anything like that. The back of the unit is looking pretty plain, power on the end. And there's the front, I think it's a 7 inch screen, remember rightly? So it's comparable to a lot of other units, obviously two channel USB on the front. Maybe that's why it's got that other cable so you can plug into a computer from that port, instead of having a USB-B use the USB-A, a bit unusual, but anyway. There's a power button on the top up here. Anyway, Unity, we'll see what it's like. So, 100 MHz, 500 MHz samples a second. Is it any good? I've got no idea. We'll find out when I do the review. So make sure you check out that video. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks to my Patreon supporters who helped me to buy things in my bag or helped me to get influence from subscriber base I have to uh, get items from companies such as this. This thing cost me anything, and that's because of how many subscribers I've got. So everyone that subscribes to my channel is helping me to get things like this for the channel as well to help it grow even further. So thank you everyone that subscribed and gives you a thumbs up. That's it for now. I'll catch you next time. Bye. I've got another Mega Mouth. Oh god, fucking hell, I can't even. I've got another Mouth. Oh fuck.